Okay. So I would say that uh, people are are coming back and moving back in with their parents at an, at an older age and staying, trying to get a job, trying to work, right? Um, so they are, they are a little older now doing that. They, they're staying, they are staying with their parents until they can find a good job and save money. So they are, they are staying until a little later, sometimes 25, 26. Like you said, 29, right? Like myself, a little older, uh, 28. So, do we all remember talking about the, the house vocab from a few weeks ago? Right? So, for example, what, what is a ceiling? What is a ceiling? Um, how about you, Claudia? What is a ceiling, Claudia? Yes, very good. This is the ceiling right here, right? Inside the house or the building and the top, exactly what you just pointed to, right? Very good. So, what is the roof? The roof. Uh, Ernan, what, what is the roof, Ernan? Very good. Uh, outside of the house, at the top of the building, right? Or at the top of, of any building, there's, there's the roof, right? Very good. What about the door? The door. Um, Lely. Very good. Yes. So we use the door to go in and out, right, of the house or the building. Very good. Very good. So we all remember that um, very well, right? Okay. So what we are going to talk about today is the second conditional sentences. Does anyone remember that from... Have you heard of that in a, in a prior class, in a class before today? Anyone? Okay, go ahead. What, what is the second conditional? Uh-huh. No, go ahead. Very good. Yes, so it's like that. Uh, what the second conditional is, is you talk about a hypothetical or an imaginary situation and in the present or in the future and the consequence or the result that that would bring. So you have an imaginary or hypothetical situation in the present or the future and then the consequence that that would, would bring. Yes,